All right, everyone. We're coming up on a split. I'm going to take the split to the right. The last video I took, I went to the left. That's the one that took you down to the uh, Santa Claus's house. This is the golf course, the, the uh, disc golf course, that is. You can see there's a couple of people out here playing. If you see that basket right there to the right, the object of the game is to throw a disc and get it into the basket. You have a starting point. That's the ending point for each hole like you do in golf. And you just like in golf, you count the number of uh, well, strokes in golf and uh, throws in disc golf. And the fewer strokes are throws, wins. Now, when I was living here, it was only a nine-hole disc golf, golf course. Now it's 18 holes. So they've increased the sizes. Uh, they've also changed the baskets in that now they're colored. When I was here, they were all just plain silver. And you'd walk this part of the park, which as you can see, is not real bad, but a little hilly. And, oh, there's those girls again. But uh, what you do is you just walk this and play the game. Uh, here in the States, especially in the Midwest, disc golf is pretty popular. They even have tournaments where uh, people will play. I don't know if there's any professionals. I've never heard of it being a pro, but I know a lot of amateurs like to play. And they just, like I said, they walk the golf course wherever it's at, and they toss their disc and get started. We're going to be coming up on where you actually start at here in a little bit. And uh, it's got added something here that they didn't have when I was playing. They actually have discs that you can borrow and use to play the game. Now, when I was playing back then, you had to have your own. If you didn't have your disc, you didn't play the game. Or if, unless you borrowed it from somebody else. But as you can see right here, it tells you it's a 18-hole golf course, and uh, there's the, if I turn a little bit more, there's the uh, disc that you can borrow, and then the clipboard if you want to keep your score by writing it down. But uh, this, this is the start. This is where the hole one starts at. Stand on that pad right down here. And that's where you throw from. There's a up there on the hill, I don't know if you can see it or not, there is a basket and that's where the first hole would be. So this is where you start, where you go. They have a map of it laid out and it tells you at each place where to start from and throw what, what basket you're throwing to. So like I said, it's a fun little game. And so anyway, like I said, the, the golf course consists of a lot of hills. A lot of people like to play the game. It's a good exercise. Uh, it's a good way to get around and walk and get your exercise while you're doing something instead of just sitting there walking. And I want to see if I can catch something. I should have shown this on the way in. I forgot to get a video of it. And we may go back around and show it to you if I can't get a good view of it. If I can't, I'll just go back out. Let's see. I think I can get a good view of it. Right through there, you'll see that water fountain. When the weather's nice, they have that water running. Keeps the water stirred up. You can go fishing there. You can see the... Uh, Dock. There's a gazebo right here to relax in. It's a nice, comfortable area. It really is a nice park for a city park. All right, everybody. I'm going to end this one here. Remember to be kind to each other. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe and healthy. And remember, always try to have fun. Bye.